Welcome to my informal walkthrough of tags and tag filtering in drafts. We're going to cover how to assign tags, how to filter by tags, and a few other tips and tricks along the way. So let's say you've started to capture a lot of things in drafts and you want to be able to organize it some. Tagging is the tool to do that. To assign a tag manually to a draft, make sure the tag shelf is visible if it's not already by tapping the tag at the top. And then the tag field has a drop down of recently used tags, or you can start typing and it will query all tags that are active in your list. You can select one at any time. I'll just assign personal here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, flag this draft also. Once I've assigned a tag, if I go over and look in the drafts list, the tags are visible with the draft in the list. I can also automate assigning tags with actions. So if there's actions you use frequently to send messages somewhere or uh, save them to files, you can configure those actions to assign tags when they complete. For example, my post a mastodon action, I've configured both to automatically archive the draft after the action runs and assign the tag mastodon so that I can later go back and filter by that tag and see all the posts I've sent. Now, once I want to filter the list by the tag so I can see what I've assigned, I open the tag filter pane either from this button at the top left or by swiping right anywhere in the drafts list. I get a list of my tags over here. If I tap on one, the list is now filtered only by items with the personal tag assigned. Those filters apply to all the tabs, so I can see only the flagged personal drafts, only the archived personal drafts, etc. If I pull the pane back out, I can switch to looking at the work drafts, etc. There's a couple other special items in this list. The tagged item is a virtual tag that shows you all drafts that have a tag assigned, any tag. Untagged is the inverse. It shows you all your drafts that you have not assigned a tag to, which can be useful for processing things and getting rid of them. In this case, I'm going to show you how to assign tags to multiple items at a time because I want to file away these sample drafts. I'm going to do that by going into select mode selecting those three drafts, and then using the operations under the gear here to add a tag to all of those at once. And you'll see they disappeared because they're no longer part of the untagged filter, but they still exist here in the list with the sample tag applied. You'll also notice this projects tag has a disclosure triangle next to it. That's because it's a parent tag with child tags. You create parent and child tags by using a forward slash and a tag name. When you do that, the parent tag becomes available. You can see, see its child tags. And you can, of course, filter by those individually and see only the items in Project A or Project B. But if you filter by the parent, you'll see all the child tags in the same filter, which can be handy for grouping together related items. I can also manage tags here if I want to. Like I have this junk tag, and now I think I don't really like that. I'd rather call it something else. If I tap and hold on that, I can rename the tag, say, stuff. And that's going to go through and replace the junk tag on all drafts with it assigned. So they now have the stuff tag. And you'll see the list updated, and now I can filter by stuff. And the same things will be there. At any time, you can clear the filters assigned by using this X at the top. If you have more advanced filtering needs, you can also switch the filtering pane from single tag to multiple tag mode. In this mode, as I select tags, they're added to the filter rather than replacing it. So right now I'm filtering for 
drafts that have both the personal and work tag assigned. I can switch that to an OR based Boolean search by switching to any of, and now it'll show me ones with either the personal or the work tag, or both, assigned. I can even omit tags here by using the slashed tag button. And now I'm searching for things that are tagged work, but not projects. I'm going to clear that out. If you have filters you use regularly, you can also create workspaces for those. For example, I have one for my personal items. Workspaces are a set of saved list settings, including tag filters, that make it easy to apply quickly. That's a little more advanced than this topic. So that's about it. That should get you started with tagging and managing tags and filtering in your list, etc. Hope this was helpful.